Hiya! I'm Jess from Musicals with Cheese, and welcome to a Musicals with Cheese countdown! Today, we're counting down the top five Stephen Sondheim ballads. I can hear you asking right now, hey, what's a ballad? Is it more than just a slow song? And I'd say, mm, it kinda is, but there's more to it. A ballad is a type of poem or song that tells a story, and was traditionally set to music. English language ballads are typically composed of four line stanzas that follow an A, B, C, B rhyme scheme. But in modern days, it's become a bit more loose on what the rules are and what is considered a ballad. I'd say a more recent definition of a ballad would be a pretty slow song that Barbara Streisand would probably sing. And Stephen Sondheim's written a bunch of those. So today, let's count down the top five Stephen Sondheim ballads, shall we? It goes without saying that these are my personal choices. You will probably have different ones, and that's great. Leave yours down in the comments below. Let's start. As it was five years ago. So at number five, we have Unworthy of Your Love from Assassins. I am unworthy of your love, Joey Joey. Let me prove worthy of your love. So this song is about two individuals, one of them being John Hinckley, the man who would shoot Ronald Reagan in an attempt to impress Jodie Foster, and the other being Lynette Squeaky Frome, who you might know from The Manson Family, you know, everyone's favorite TV show. And she would eventually go on to shoot Gerald Ford in an attempted assassination. So you know, two just generally upright citizens that we all love. But their heinous actions are juxtaposed against this gorgeous ballad about their unrequited love for someone else. Hinkley being Jodie Foster, Squeaky Frome being Charles Manson. Tell me, Jody, how I can earn your love. I will swim oceans, I will move mountains, I will do anything for you. Let me feel fire, let me drink poison, tell me to tear my heart in two. If that's what you want. This song is both very smart, very demented, and very Sondheim. It is one of his more tricky ballads, and it has so much integrated into the musical score to fit the characters that I can't even really believe. He intentionally wrote the chord structure incorrectly because he thought that John Hinckley wouldn't be smart enough to get the chord structure correct. And there's just a lot of, lot of great stuff in here. I don't like how more recently it's been adapted into a true romance song, as seen in Putting It Together, where John Barrowman's just singing it about anyone. You are wind and water and sky, darling. You know, it kind of misses the point if we lose the irony of the song, you know. But overall, in the musical, this is a very, very effective song and one of Sondheim's best at ballads ever written. You almost catch yourself feeling for them until, you know, they try to kill the president. Let's go to the next one. Send me out with a salad At number four is So Many People from Saturday Night. I had to go and fall for so much less than what I had planned from all the magazines. Now, this might just be a personal preference one. I don't think this is anyone's favorite Sondheim musical, but gosh darn it if I don't love this song. So Saturday Night was actually the first professional musical written by Stephen Sondheim. I know we all attribute that to West Side Story, but this was actually supposed to hit Broadway before West Side Story. However, after the sudden death of a lead producer, it kind of fell apart and West Side Story happened to be Stephen Sondheim's first foray into the Broadway world. This song is about two people, Helen and Jean, who come together and fall in love despite their own best intentions. So many people in the world, and what can they do? They'll never know love like my love for you. And it just becomes this such beautiful decoration of love, and it's had such a big life outside of the musical itself in many cabarets and reviews that it really has taken on a life of its own. My personal favorite version of this song is on the album Marry Me A Little. Perfection. I don't have much of a justification for why this song's out on the list. It's pretty, it justifies its own existence by being pretty, and it sums up what the feeling of falling in love despite yourself really is. I cannot recommend it more. I love this song a lot. 
But we still got more songs to listen to, so let's keep going. And three, and most importantly. At number three, we have No One Is Alone from Into the Woods. Mother cannot guide you. Now you're on your own. Only me beside you. Still you're not alone. One of Sondheim's most famous songs from one of his most famous musicals. This is a song about how kind of hopeless the world is and how we gotta help each other through the hopelessness of the reality that we live in. Cinderella and the Baker have to explain to Jack and Little Red that life isn't always fair, but we're gonna help each other through it. Mother isn't here now. Wrong things, right things. Who knows what she'd say? Who can say what's true? Nothing's quite so clear now. Do things, fight things. I feel you've lost your way. You decide, but you, you are, are not, not alone. alone. Believe me, no one is alone. No one is alone. And it's such an important message to get, especially nowadays, to help each other out and try to be better. This song just really speaks to me in that way. In hopeless times, we need to band together and be better for it. And this song says that to a T. Both within the musical and outside of it in cabarets, this song is really effective. It takes two. And at number two, we have Finishing the Hat from Sunday in the Park with George. I had thought she understood. They have never understood, and no reason that they should. My god, this song is probably one of Sondheim's highest achievements. It's about being unable to connect with people because you're so connected with your art. Finishing the hat. How you have to finish the hat. How you watch the rest of the world from a window while you finish the hat. Mapping out a sky. What you feel like planning a sky. What you feel when voices that come through the window go until they distance and die. Until there's nothing but sky. And I know a lot of folks have felt deeply that connection especially with films like Tick, Tick, Boom hitting the waves and really being effective in drawing in an audience. But this was my Tick, Tick, Boom, so to say. This was my song that really explained how it felt to be able to not always be present, to always be thinking about the next artistic thing. It really, really broke my heart, and I love it to death. You can see me in this old video from Musical Theater Mash, where I really describe how much the song affected me. That man has affected me in so many ways that even this short rambling tedium of a video really can't even sum up. Think I truly, truly love this song. But if that's my number two, then what could be my number one? Well, let's look at these honorable mentions first. But you're still somehow part of my life, and you won't go away, so there's hell to pay. Pretty women, fascinating. Sipping coffee, dancing pretty women. And still you're sorry, and still you're grateful, and still you wonder, and still you doubt. And she goes out. Go on, are you ever gonna find the one? And at number one, we have Losing My Mind from Follies. All afternoon. Doing every little chore and The thought of you stays bright In the musical Follies, it's a torch song for the character Sally in the final big sequence, Loveland, where it's just a small part of a bigger picture. But it works so well on its own and it can be meaning anything, really, and it's had a life of its own outside of the show. In the book Finishing the Hat, Sondheim revealed that the song was a pastiche on George and Ira Gershwin's The Man I Love. The song has to do with Sally feeling so paralyzed with her love that really she does all the things in her day-to-day -day life and can't help but be in love with this person that doesn't really love her back and can't love her back. It really is this dark, dark song about how being in love with someone that can't love you back really drives you insane. The morning ends, I think about you, I talk 
to friends I think about you And do they know It's like I'm losing my mind It's so effective and everyone's covered it. From Liza Minnelli to Tim Curry to Imelda Staunton to so many, so many others. And you know what? It works every single time. This song is so good. So despite my personal connection to finishing the hat, this had to be number one because it is literally flawless no matter who's singing it. I could not think of a better song for number one. But maybe you could. Leave your ballad suggestions down in the comments below. Do you think I should have put one higher or one lower? Let me know. Let's start a dialogue here. I, I'm just talking to you, but but maybe we can extend this out. It turned into Jimmy Stewart for a moment there. Or we built some sort of fire. All right, we'll see you next time on the Musicals with Cheese Countdown or whatever the show is called. See you next time. Wow, wow. I am unworthy of your love, Charlie, Charlie. I'm looking things up. I'm not wasting your time.